Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Do you want to transfer your USDT from Binance to Cotex in 2023? Cotex, known for its user-friendly interface, provides a great platform for trading digital assets. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the simple steps to transfer your USDT from Binance to Cotex quickly and securely. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, for this specific video, you will need two things, Binance account and Excess Broker account, which is Cotex. So here I have already an account on Binance. So to send money or USDT from Binance to any other platform, you will need to have some USDT in your account in the first place. So what you should do is to go here, buy crypto. This is only in case you didn't have any crypto in your account. Put here the amount of money that you want to spend on USDT. Change that. Change for the Tether or USDT. And there you have it. So basically, you can now click on Buy, use a credit card, PayPal, or any payments method that it is accepted by your country, and you will be good to go. Now, the second thing is how can you send money from Binance into your own uh, account in the Cortex. So first of all, we need an account in Cortex. So we have to create one real quick. Here we go. We just log in and continue. And now I'm going to skip everything. So now to deposit, simply I'm going to click on deposit. And here you have to choose uh, all of these, like as you can see here, there's multiple um, kind of networks. So the first thing is I'm going to my Binance account. Let me just show you real quick. Here we go. And here, guys, you should go to the uh, dashboard. And here, guys, the next thing is to go to your assets and click on spot. And here, guys, search for USDT. There we go. And then from here, click on, as you can see here, there's deposit. There is even uh, like, which is basically deposit, which we, we will need in the other websites. So basically here, what you will need is to withdraw. So click on withdraw and here choose the coin. So we will need USDT. And this is the point. So now let's say that we want to pay uh, through the Tether. Uh, network. So simply all you need to do is to click here, click on USDT Tether, and here choose the amount. And after that, choose your bonus. For example, if you deposit more than 15, more than 100, this is the, the, the points that you will get. And basically, after that, click on deposits. And this is your uh, own address. So simply, all you need is to copy this address, then paste it. In here so let me just show you real quick here we go copy paste and choose to be tether and here as you can see guys this is the withdraw amount make sure to choose the withdraw amount that you want to send so for example I want to send like let's say that we have a thousand USDT so it's gonna be uh, sent to you 99 uh, or 999 USDT and one USDT will be cost as fees. So you have to add one extra USDT to send 1k USDT to your own account in your Cortex account. And this is basically it. This is how you can actually uh, send your USDT into your Cortex account. Of course, it varies from a uh, network to another. So you have to know, guys, there is USDT Tether. There is Binance Pay, there is ACC Tether, uh, ARC20, there is TRC20, there is uh, the BIP20, uh, the there is the Polygon, there is TRC, so there is all of these kind of networks, and the same, they both exist, or all of them exist in here, if you want here, there is, as you can see here, TRX, Solana, there is BNB Smart Chain, Ethereum, Polygon, uh, Arbitrum, uh, uh, Optimism, uh, uh, BNB, Avax, uh, Near, uh, Statement, EOS, and XTZ. So all of these kind of different uh, like networks are available in Binance. You just have to choose the right one and send your money. So this is very, very important, guys.
Also guys, there is the Binance Pay. The Binance Pay is basically this. So here I'm going to click on deposit. And look what will happen now. So let's give it some time. Here we go. Let's give it until it loads perfectly. And they will be taking us to this page where we're going to open our Binance app. So simply all we need to do is to scan this code using our Binance app. And then you will simply be able to pay it. It will take 20 minutes before this code will actually be gone. So make sure to pay within this 20 minutes. So you actually have the money inside of your account. If it was only one minute left, please guys, do not send in the last minutes or the last five minutes. Make sure to send in the first 20 minutes because if you did in the last minute, well, the process actually takes five minutes. So if the code has changed, well, there will be a lot of problems to have during your uh, process. So to prevent all of that problems, make sure to send, but like, just get it. You have the code, simply grab your phone take a screenshot, scan it in your app and send the money. If you don't have your SDT right in the moment that you are having like this code in front of you, well stop it. Go to your Binance account, buy your SDT. It's very easy as I said guys, you can even get it by P2P if you were not sure if uh, your credit card will get accepted, you can buy it through here. There is like plenty of payments method as you can see. And last like that, you can actually get it and send it so you just have to wait until it ends and then send it again so this is how to send it in the safe way but if you do want to risk it and yeah it will be a high chance that you will lose your money especially if it was a big amount of money if it was ten dollars it's fine five dollars it's fine you can get it back but if it was like 1k 10k well that's a lot of money to spend on and to lose in the transaction so this is why i hope you guys really watch this video over and over and so you cannot make any mistakes also when you try to paste your address in here i really check it 10 times i read it i recheck it i read it again because sometimes guys you have to know that your pcs are not clean of, of viruses sometimes if you try to copy your address you will paste it here and the paste will not be your address because sometimes you i, I do that i I play games cracked I play a lot of things and I have this problem I can get viruses the same goes for you guys if you didn't take care of your PCs so make sure to read the address from over and over and yeah guys that was basically it for today's video I hope you learned how to send your money from Binance into your Kotex account thank you guys a lot for watching if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section and see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye